One of Rhode Island's most closely watched races was the battle for the first congressional seat. Incumbent David Cicilline was projected to win, but he was not expected to take as much of the vote as he actually did. The Democrat finished 12 points ahead of Republican Brendan Doherty and earned 47 more points than independent David Vogel. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is in Providence with more. What was likely the most expensive race for Congress ever in Rhode Island is now over. Congressman David Cicilline stays where he is in Washington, and challenger Brendan Doherty ponders, what now? Good show, kid. Thank you. Appreciate that. This is life. You've got to take the good with the bad. Unsolicited wisdom for Republican Brendan Doherty the day after he lost his first political campaign against Democratic Congressman David Cicilline. Very disappointed, but, uh, you know, I, I have no regrets. We worked hard. Yeah, I actually, one of those Washington uh, analysts called me Lazarus, coming back from the dead, the political dead. Back in February, Congressman Cicilline was down by 15 points. He won by 12. Were there moments of doubt? There had to have been. No, I mean, look, I knew it was going to be a fight. I mean, uh, I think there were a lot of people when we were down 15 or 16 points who would have said, go look for a new career, you know, do something different. But I knew what was at stake. Brendan Doherty isn't ruling out running again, just not for Congress. This was not a dress rehearsal, and, and it wasn't. So I, I will not be running for uh, Congress again. That just will not happen. Uh, I need to assess uh, what I'll be doing in the future. I need to... Not for Congress suggests for something else. Well, Governor? Well, you never know. It's early yet, but Rhode Island's former top cop may have been bitten by the political bug. He may be scratching that itch sooner rather than later. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. We have in-depth campaign 2012 coverage on our website, WPRI.com. There we have all the race results broken down by city and town on our interactive map. Plus in-depth analysis from WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. You can also check out some of last night's history-making moments in our photo gallery.